You study the effect of the PD-1 blocking antibody nivolumab in patients with relapse or refractory classical Hodgkin lymphoma. Could you explain why it is interesting to study the effect of the immune checkpoint inhibitors in these patients? Yes, so what this work is based on is scientific work that was done a few years ago, mostly in Dr. Margaret Shipp's lab at uh, Dana-Farber, and would show that classical Hodgkin lymphoma seems a very unique tumor and has a genetic uh, amplification of material at the 9P24 locus, which results in overexpression of the PD-1 ligands, PD-L1 and PD-L2. So there was already this body of work to suggest that classical Hodgkin lymphoma, unlike any other tumor that we know of now, has a, genetic, uh, de a genetically determined vulnerability to PD-1 blockade, which is what was explored in these studies. So the reason that those studies specifically looked at classical Hodgkin lymphoma as one of the cohorts was because of this scientific work. In the phase one study, 23 patients were enrolled. What were the characteristics of these patients? So they were young patients, the median age was 35, uh, and they were mostly nodular sclerosis Hodgkin lymphoma, all but one had this uh, histology and they were quite heavily pretreated. The median lines, the median number of lines of prior systemic therapies was four in this cohort, and most of them, 78%, had received a prior autotransplant, 78% had received prior brentuximab, two-thirds had received both prior autotransplant and prior brentuximab. Although the primary endpoint was safety, you also looked at the response to the treatment. What were the most important findings with, re re with respect to the efficacy? So the most important finding was the overall response rate in the cohort, which was 87%, uh, which to us is an extremely encouraging result. And also the, the responses seemed to be durable. At six months, the progression-free survival was 86%, and there are responses that have been ongoing now for over a year. And uh, how would you describe the safety profile of nivolumab? Overall, in this study, it seemed like the safety of nivolumab was similar to what we expect from solid tumors. So this is a drug that's actually quite well known because it's been used in a lot of patients. Uh, and, and we saw the, the expected side effects, uh, but didn't see an increase in any toxicity, especially lung toxicity, which is uh, one thing that we worry about. So it seemed to have a quite acceptable safety profile with no life-threatening or no fatal drug-related uh, events. You also studied a number of immune checkpoint-related genes in reed sternberg cells. What did this show? So what we found in the 10 tumors that we were able to study was, as predicted, that they all carried this genetic amplification at 9P24, and all of them had overexpression of the PD-1 ligands, pd one pd 2 on the cell surface. And how would you summarize the results, and what are the next steps in the study of nivolumab in patients with classical Hodgkin lymphoma? So these are preliminary results because they're based on only 23 patients, but they're extremely encouraging based on the high response rate and the apparent durability of responses. So we're hoping to confirm those results in larger studies and then move this drug possibly earlier in the pathway of, of patients with Hodgkin lymphoma so that we can increase cure rate, which is at the end of the day what we want for these patients.